back to my channel it's Ray if you're new here welcome today I am going to be doing a wash and go I've been doing a few twist outs so I thought I'd switch it up and do um, a wash and go and I am revisiting the Obia Naturals curl enhancing custard you guys one of you guys asked me if I would revisit this and so I'm going to do it today I usually use it with the leave-in to this line which is the curl moisture um, butter and or curl moisture cream and then I would follow it up with the twist whip butter or either the heavy cream from this line and that gave me a really good wash and go the last time I used it I believe I used it with the shea moisture um, conditioner that I used as a leave-in and that was a really good pairing but for some of you who have canceled shea moisture I thought I'd come on with another leave-in and see how that worked so today I use the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love, which you guys know that I love as a leave-in. And I'm gonna pair these two together. Have never used these two together, so I don't know how it's gonna work. But we are going to try it today. And we're gonna see. So I used to, well, I rave about this uh, product. It is a custard, kind of between a gel and a cream and I love it this is the consistency I like um, very similar to the allocate not the allocate um, that's a little bit more jelly very similar to the um, Talia Wajid green apple and aloe jelly um, but this is a little bit thicker so it has a stronger hold so again for those of you who want to get away from gels want better ingredients this is a vegan product this is going to give you a very nice hold just like some of your stronger hold gels but it's going to be better ingredients it smells really good um, so yeah I am going to go ahead and um, start applying this to my hair before my hair dries out so as I said, my leave-in is the Curl Love and I apply that in the shower. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this custard to it and hope that they pair well together. I um, wash my hair in the shower with the Design Essentials um, Almond and Avocado shampoo I believe is what it's called you know the one that I talk about all the time I washed with that and I deep conditioned with the honey's handmade bentonite bentonite and sea clay conditioning mask deep conditioning mask and then I use the leave-in so we're going to see how it turns out so before I started using the allocate naturals gel I used to swear by this one and I still love this one. Um, they, they're comparable in the fact that they are stronger holds with better ingredients and they give me a lot of shine. At least it does with the other products that I've used it with. So we'll see how much shine I get today because I've never used these two together. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit in my hands and I'm rubbing my hands together and I'm just taking it down the length of my hair. I'm going to put a little bit on the roots because you don't need a lot. I tend to be heavy handed with this sometimes so I'm trying today not to be as heavy handed. So then I just finger rake it through. And let it go so that's kind of what it's looking like Put a little bit on my ends I always want to make sure those ends are coated that's going to help them clump together, give you less single strand knots and less tangles. When those ends are clumped, you're gonna get less tangles at the ends of your hair.
the LK Naturals and this custard have, neither one of them have um, given me flakes. So that's what I like about them as well. Um, so far, what I've used them with has worked and I haven't had to really worry about flaking with those like you do with some gels. You're not sure how they're gonna react with other stuff. So. Gives me a very similar look when wet with the LK Naturals. So you see what I'm doing? So I am going to pretty much just do this all the way around my head and you all can watch. I am done applying the custard to my hair, so this is what my hair looks like. I got the hair over here. I use probably a third of the custard, um, and I'm heavy handed, so I don't think you need to use as much, and especially if you apply this in the shower on soaking wet hair, you'll use a lot less. So I would say to try to apply it on soaking wet hair. My hair started to dry out, so I felt like I had to use a little bit more. Um, 
because I just didn't want to spray water on it, but always do uh, apply your product to soaking wet hair. I think you'll get the best results. Um, so this is what it looks like. I am going to let it dry and I'll be back when it's dry to let you see the results. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back and this is what my hair looks like straight from under the dryer. As you can see, it is very defined. Looks very much like Dalicate Naturals. This hold is a tad bit um, softer than the Alicate. The Alicate has a stronger hold than this in my opinion. But what I'm going to do is go um, stretch it a little bit and I will be back. So I just wanted to show you right out of the dryer. So in case you are someone who really doesn't stretch your hair, you like to get longevity, so you just let it be and you let it grow as the days go on, you'll see, you know, kind of what it will look like and how defined it'll be. And then I'm gonna stretch it for those who like to kind of stretch their hair and get a little bit more um, fullness and length. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back and this is what my hair is looking like, a little bit stretched and elongated. I didn't really pick it to make it big um, because I want it to last. And it's kind of, um, um, not real late, but it's later in the evening and I'm not really going anywhere. So there was no reason for me to make it that big, but I did want to stretch it a little bit just so you can see once you stretch it, how you still have a lot of curl definition. Um, it is um, softer once you stretch it. It still has hold, but it has movement, but it is soft. And of course you can make it bigger by, you know, picking it out if you wanted to. But basically this is it. Very similar results to the other brand that I keep talking about um, that this video is not about. But I love these two um, as alternatives to the Eco, to the Wet Line. They have better ingredients. They work just as well. Um, they give you a strong but a little bit softer hold. They have shine. This one, um, I am noticing that it's not as shiny as it is with its own products, its own leave-in, but it still looks healthy. It doesn't look dull. It doesn't look dried out. There are no flakes. So the Camille Rose Curl Love did pair well with the Obia Naturals Curl Enhancing Custard. These two are a great combination. You get the softness, you get the definition, everything that you're looking for. So yeah, I like these two together and um, I'll continue to use them together. Um, again, this also goes well with the Shea Moisture, but if you're not on that Shea Moisture train anymore, then feel free to use the Curl Up with it. It works well or its own leave-in um, works just as well. Sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out. Uh, it is gloomy, it's getting ready to rain. So it may be getting a little bit darker in here. So yeah, have you used Obia Naturals? If you have, let me know in the comment section what you pair it with, how well it works for you whether you like it or not. Let me know if you like this wash and go. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Is it comparable to the Alicate Naturals gel or um, better, worse? Tell me in the comment section below. I'd like to know your thoughts. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please follow me over on Instagram. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. Bye.